I can fly it. I can fly it. Holy mackerel, look at this thing! Wow! Hey everybody, it's Moombo here, and welcome back to more Scrap Mechanic. This time, we've got some viewer creations, some planes, some trains, and some automobiles. Uh, these are from a few different creators, and I'm gonna go over all of the creations that I've picked out. I'm gonna put some links in the description for each Steam Workshop, so you guys can try these really cool creations out as well. So let's start moving into some of these builds. I have chosen the cars first, so I am gonna load up some cars here by going right to the bottom. Oh, this one, I'm excited to show you guys that one, but that one's coming in a moment. So I've got a few cars here. Uh, these were created by Optimus Does Minecraft, or uh, Sean Mira uh, on the channel. I'm sure you've seen him around. Uh, I wanna thank you so much for all your support and sending me your creations. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, so right now I'm gonna load them into a flat world, uh, but you'll actually see the a little uh, city cam is what I call it actually. So the city cam is kind of like just uh, uh, what it would look like in the city. Obviously I wanted to record in the city like the entire episode, uh, but in the end it was just too laggy. Uh, so I hope that little camera isn't isn't too bad for you guys. So this here, I believe this is the Shelby GT actually. Uh, as you can see. Uh, most of his creations, you can actually just hop out like this through the door. Uh, I forgot to even read what this one was. Let's go here. So, this is based off of the Ford Mustang GT. Alright, and you know what? It's all vanilla too. I love, I love Scrap Mechanic in its vanilla form actually. So, this is a Shelby GT. Really nice looking. Uh, putting the bolts on the wheels like that is a nice touch actually. And really, like, the overall design, you know, when it comes to Scrap Mechanic in its vanilla form, uh, this is just really nice. Um, I love using these as well for like grills and kind of air intakes and stuff like that on some of the creations. Uh, but you know, you got some really nice looking detail here actually. Really nice. I like the back end actually. That's uh, that's one of my favorite parts on this build. Uh, there's a whole bunch of buttons too. You can see you can open the door there. What's this one? Uh, this one, oh yeah, all of his cars too. You can actually press a button and it'll give you access to the engine so you don't have to necessarily pop a hood or anything, but I mean, you can actually pop this hood. And as you can see, it has quite a nice looking engine in it actually. That looks fantastic. And you know what? I really like uh, adding those kind of details. Uh, I find that to be one of the best parts of Scrap Mechanic. Nice big trunk there as well. And a radio, of course. Yeah, you gotta have a radio. So, as you can probably see in the uh, little city cam, the, uh, the the car drives pretty well, and here it's it's nice and stable, really smooth, and it just kind of drifts around, and you can see that looks pretty sweet actually, when it starts to lose contact, but it just doesn't want to do it, it, it adds some really like real, like really, really, yeah, really realistic physics. So let's check out another car from Sean. Alright, so next in the list is the UPS Truck X. Uh, so let's see what it says here. This is a fully featured UPS truck. My friend and I designed. Ah, a team build. You know, sometimes team builds are actually really fun. Fully detailed interior. Oh, this is exciting. So let's build this. I also quickly brought this one into the city to record some of the uh, the driving in the city. Uh, so there's a city cam there for you guys again. Let's, let's see, actually, this is... This looks awesome. I find, like, to, to achieve a front like this that has a very, very short front end uh, is very difficult in Scrap Mechanic. I think he did a great job pulling this one off. Uh, it seems like there's a slight tilt on the windows there, which really makes all the difference. Uh, so let's uh, open this up here. I'm excited to see what they got back here. Ooh. Loads of boxes. Loads of boxes. I'm happy to see that there's none of them strewn about on the ground, all crushed and who knows what. Oh, look at this, you can actually, this is a really nice build. You can actually go from here into the, the truck cab. That is fantastic. So I'm going to shut these doors though, and let's, uh, let's see what the driving is like on this thing. In the city, it handled pretty well. Uh, sometimes, as you can see, the, the front lifts up a little bit, so it, it, it loses traction a little bit, but... I mean, it's so heavy in the back that you still get your drive no matter what, and the front wheels never truly lose contact. But the detail on this is impeccable, and I loved it in the city. It makes me want to build like a warehouse, a uh, UPS warehouse, or something of that nature. It's, it's really nice to see your guys' builds uh, and how they inspire me and stuff like that. Alright, so next up in the list here is, looks like, an, a Lamborghini Countach. 
Uh, this looks like a pretty mean looking car. Look at that back end, actually. This looks absolutely fantastic. And I find it, it's, it's interesting to see the small wheels on here, but you can see the, the triple suspension is actually, it's pretty key, isn't it? Uh, and you can see there's actually quite a complicated setup here in the front, it seems like. You have a controller that brings it up. I guess that's actually probably just to bring it closer to the wheel well. Uh, but nonetheless, that looks absolutely fantastic. Very sleek, actually. You know, this is probably one of the sleekest cars I've seen in Scrap Mechanic. I gotta say, this thing looks actually aerodynamic. But let's hop into the driver's seat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me look at that door. Do you see how that door just opened? That is really nice. I'm pretty sure you call those suicide doors. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not uh, a car buff by any means, but this, it just looks so nice. I, got, I can't stop opening and closing it. Oh, I almost missed it. So, hopping in here. Let's see. Buttons. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Is that like, there's like nitro there? There's like some nitro tanks or something? That is so cool. Does the front open on this? I don't think the front opens on this one. But really, why would you need to? Oh, man, this one's fast, too. I gotta show you guys. Look at the back here. This is an amazing build. Look at the detail, like, the way this is sloped in like that and flush with those ridges there is amazing, actually. This is one of my favorites, I think, based off of the rear end alone, because I find it, that's one of the most difficult things to pull off in the car. But I got the city cam up for this one as well, and it looked really good. It was pretty uh, hard to handle on the pavement, but as you can see here in the open terrain, uh, it just looks absolutely fantastic, and it handles really well. Alright, so we got one more from Sean here. This one is like a Lincoln-ish car, so maybe... He didn't want to claim it to be a Lincoln, but maybe it's Lincoln-inspired. Uh, but as you can see, I can see exactly, like, where you're coming from. It's Or it could also be, like, a, a Chrysler or something, you know, like the Chrysler 300, maybe? Uh, just one of those kind of luxury big vehicles. Uh, and this one handled really well in the city. Uh, this was the most stable. Uh, as you can see in the city camp for this one, I decided to take it for a rip down the highway. And it was cruising, and I really, I didn't even have to worry about my throttle. I maybe had to do a little minor adjustment here and there. But ultimately, this car is probably the best one in the city, actually. And like I was saying, these are going to be in the workshop, and you guys probably have downloaded the city, the whole world. I hope your computer can run that city. And if it can, though, you can have so much fun with these builds driving around. Uh, but, you know, the new engine... I, I can see uh, sooner than later, actually, we'll probably see some great progress in that one. And again, look at this front here, actually. The front here is really nice. There's a lot of detail work in these vehicles, and you can see the effort that was put into them. So thank you so much for sending those creations in, Sean. I had so much fun with them. They look absolutely fantastic, and driving them in the city was a lot of fun as well. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the trains. So I have a couple trains here. I haven't even really touched these before. I'm loading them for the first time right now. I'm really excited. I wonder, so as you can see, uh, these were created by Pominalis. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, so as you can see, there is a train track, and there's also a track bumper. So, I should be able to piece these together. I almost wanted to make these in the city, uh, but it was too laggy. So maybe let's, uh, let's build some train tracks real quick here and see if I can maybe put something together. So, we will quickly grab a piece of concrete like that. And I think the best thing I should do is probably just raise this up and... Oh, I don't even have the weld tool out. So I'll grab the weld tool like that and grab that on the bottom. Maybe we'll go in this direction. So there I have a the one piece of train track. So I'm gonna build a whole bunch of these and weld them together and create like a longer track and hopefully I'll be able to get these trains to work. All right, and here is the train track all built up. I actually realized that at the other end here I don't even have a train stopper or one of those bumpers so Let's quickly run down this track here. Uh, it, I had no problem welding any of it together. There was no welding glitches this time around. So that is always a relief. But let's see what we can get here. Let's pull out this track bumper. 
and we will grab the well tool and add this on at this end here so that way the train can actually kind of bump up against something all right I'm really hoping that I I can figure this out I haven't used this yet so the trains they sh hopefully will just be able to drop right onto the track and I can just kind of go in the straight line uh, but the main thing though is kind of like the detail work and the trains I think look pretty good from the thumbnails so let's spawn one right now let's get that lift out and go to the bottom here so there's two different engines I'm gonna start with train engine number one might as well do them in order so let's see here this thing is huge wow I did not expect it to be this big these are this is some of the most interesting looking like kind of designs I've ever seen before I haven't really made a train per se yet but wow this thing is crazy looking let's get this thing on the track and drive it a bit so I think I need to turn it this way and maybe if I uh, if I walk back here is this the center I think that's the center there so we'll put that right there and get out from underneath it and I'm pretty sure that should line up perfectly so let's see hopefully this works drop it all right nice satisfying smashing sound so I think can I get up here perfect this is really nice this is like one of the best trains I've ever seen actually is this like a climbing oh yeah so look you can even train hop that's pretty sweet and there's access on both sides here and then you got the engines of course perfect all right I'm gonna see so the connection tool here so this is the drive here uh, so let's hop inside see if there's any buttons no buttons so whoops so I'm pretty sure I should be able to just drive forward wow this looks really really cool I gotta say the wheels like the way those wheels are I've never seen anything like that before that and the the, the way they're kind of wiggling as well is it fantastic this looks so good Wow and really it's moving along like at like a slow train speed in my opinion uh, but the way it kind of shakes and doesn't like totally derail really adds to the effect so let's smash into that boom that's a good stopper and the reverse hmm it's got a good reverse on it too so I saw in the uh, inventory that there's also uh, like a I guess it's a just a train cart uh, so let's spawn the other train engine and try and attach some carts to it all right so here is train engine number two uh, and Pominalis I got to say these are some of the best trains I've ever seen in scrap mechanic uh, they're absolutely fantastic uh, so I'm actually I need to I need to weld one of those carts on it that's what I want to do I know I know it's gonna work uh, but this one looks absolutely fantastic as well uh, and the same uh, wheel design which like I said that wheel design and the suspension on it is just something else but I need to spawn one of those carts so that I'm pretty sure I might just have to weld it to the back I think base used for any potential train car so basically oh that's amazing actually so I guess that's what it is it's just the base for uh, various train carts that you would want to make which is actually a really good idea very creative so I think I need to turn this around and pop it on the tracks here so let's see should be able to line it up the same way and I believe what I'm gonna do is just kind of attach some caution blocks here I want to try and pull some weight with these so if I put maybe three of those and grab the well tool here and I should be able to just stick it onto the back here I hope it wanted to it it wants to do it in weird spots here I might be able to get rid of that and try again maybe it's really disappointing when the well tool doesn't work actually because uh, you have something in your mind that you want to do and the game won't really let you do it uh, which is kind of part of the game at the moment we can't forget that the game is still relatively new as far as the design goes and the development so I'm sure no in no time at all we'll get some pretty neat stuff so it wants to weld this way see that's what I don't understand is it wants to weld that way but it doesn't want to weld this way so and it wants to weld upside down so that's kind of funny actually 
It wants to do it like every other way except the one way that I want to do, which is very, very bad luck. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to deal with that, so I'm just gonna hop onto this engine instead now. Oh, I love, like, these ladders. So there's no ladders in the game, obviously, but when you can makeshift and improvise a ladder, and it's very effective, then, I mean, really, uh, that's playing the game, isn't it? So obviously this engine here is must be like a, a tanker, fuel, truck kind of engine for the train. Uh, I'm sure that'd be full of fuel there. So let's try and drive this one around. Where's the seat? Oh wow, look at this! That's pretty neat, I didn't even notice this. This is a staircase up to the top of the engine here. And this one looks really nice as well, actually. Uh, I, I think trains, I've been... I, people have been asking me to make trains for quite a while now, and I've been kind of hesitating on it because of the lag issues and how big I would want it to make it probably, but... I mean, in the end... I think I, I might have to make a train now, because these are just so cool, and they're very inspiring, I gotta say. So driving it down the track, oh wow, this is neat. You can see it, it's just as steady as the other one, and these are all made of metal too, right? Which is actually another impressive thing. These train cars are made completely out of metal, and those unique wheel designs have no trouble at all pushing these carts. And we'll stop there, boom! That's awesome. I gotta say, these trains are just... just perfect, actually. I, and it, like I said, I'm inspired now. I gotta make some trains. So moving on to more creations from Pominalis. This looks like it's a... a critic, Citric Turquoise airplane. Let's try this out here. I have never flown this. Um, as you, sh I'm sure you know, I've made loads of planes in the game. And so it's always exciting for me to try new flying creations and seeing if I can fly them. Uh, because I know I've heard people say, like, Moombo, I can't fly your stuff. Uh, but sometimes I can't fly other people's stuff, which is just part of it. So, I have just flipped this over, and it looks like I'm on the moon right now. Which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna flip that over and try again. Uh, let's not have it facing the train tracks this time. So, let's see here. One, okay, two, landing gear, all right, I'm gonna, oh wait, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's happening right now, I'm, I think this airplane wants to turn into a train right now, actually, all right, so it's time for another attempt, I'm gonna keep trying to fly this thing, why does this happen, I have, I have no idea how to fly this thing, actually. Let me try and grab this again here. What? I... There's no, uh... Let's see. Let me read this. This is probably an important part here. A plane that starts with the press of a button and flies with WASD. There's another button for the landing gear as well. Can be a bit finicky at first, but it can be mastered with practice. I suggest you start flight in an open field and retract the landing gear once you are airborne. Okay. So, I just have to press 1, and then I'm flying, right? 1... Mmm... That jammed into those train tracks again. I'm gonna get this! I am... I'm pretty, uh, pretty set on at least flying this thing for 10 seconds, let's say. 10 seconds in the air with a bit of control. Uh, so, pressing 1... And then... W and D... No. I think... It really likes dancing on the nose. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to try a couple more times here. I hope I can get it. Um, let's see. Uh, one, and then D S. Does it go? Okay, there it is. Yes! Oh, there it is. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no, I just had it and I hit the wall. Let me see if I can fix this. Oh my goodness. This plane is intense. Okay, here we go. I got this. I got this. I can fly it. I can fly it. Holy mackerel. Look at this thing. Wow. I can do it. I think. Oh, I'm so bad at suspension glitch. Let me... Wait. No. Oh. Wow. Okay. It is tricky. It is fun. It is so much fun. I'm trying this again here. Let's try this first person. Going up. Okay, no, no, not first person. Um, landing gear in. Oh. 
I'm going straight up. Nose dive. Let's see if I can hit the wall. Oh, wow. This thing is really fast. It is finicky, but I mean, I can manage in a weird way, I think. I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm doing things that I had no idea I could do in scrap mechanics, so uh, that's a pretty cool build. But I'm going to move on to another interesting build here. There's so many cool builds that you guys have sent me, so check this one out. What? Where is it? Here it is. It's called the Blade Skitter. Uh, when I first spawned it, I had no idea what to expect. So, a surprisingly good drive over a variety of terrain. Just don't hit anything too hard. Well, good thing I'm in this open world now, and I have flown so far away from those train tracks that I don't think those should be an issue. So, as you can see, you spawn it, and it's kind of like this funny-looking... It looks like a walker. Oh! And then it just drops down like that. So... That is a very unique build in itself. The way it's designed to stand and then settle itself into its original position. And there's no buttons on this. This is just a driver. So as you can see, it almost looks like arms are like steering this entire craft. And in, in a sense, when you look at it, it's very simple in design. But the just the, the wackiness of this build is so much fun. Like... I want to almost take this into like a big open terrain world and just see where it can take me. And here's the first person view, and it looks really nice as well. Um, and the paint, the paint job really ties it together, I find. Uh, the wackiness of it, like you can see, it's kind of like, oh, hey, oh, hey. And maybe that's like a mustache almost. It just looks so wacky. I love it. A really, really good build. But I am going to see what else we have. Um, you guys need to check these out on the Steam Workshop. Like I'm saying, go to the description and show these guys some love. They have made some cool stuff in Scrap Mechanic. So I'm so far from the train tracks right now, but this here, I'm just going to quickly spawn it because it looks really cool. This is like a Rolls Royce for the train tracks, actually. I don't think I can steer it. Oh, no, I can. I thought it said it was for the tracks, but this is a really neat car as well, actually. Uh, simple in design, like I said, but it it really gets that point across of the type of car that it is. Uh, really cool. So, moving on now. I think that should be it for Pominalis. Let's see here. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Okay, let's see. What is this? Nausicaa's Glider from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. I have never heard of that. Uh, it, it sounds like it might be an anime of some sort. Uh, but let's see what this is all about here. This is a glider. I'm curious if it's going to be the same setup for driving as the other one. Um, suspension glitch? Yes. So let's see here. It starts you off tilted back, so I think I should leave it like that. And now I'm going to press the one button and hope for the best. Okay, back flipping, back flipping, flipping over. Okay. My goodness. I'm not too sure. Oh, that wall. I'm getting the hang of these things. Let me get off of this wall here. I think I can do this. Maybe not. It's hard. I can't turn them. I have a really hard time turning these things. And I'm pretty sure it's because you have to try and pretty much do everything at once here. Uh, so I can kind of spin it like this. And let's try that one more time. Flatten out. Come on. Okay. I think it's all about really just staying in the sweet spot, I think. I could be completely wrong here, but I mean, nonetheless, this thing is completely wacky. Uh, it looks really nice. Like I said, I haven't seen the show that's being referenced, but uh, no doubt this looks really nice, and I can imagine that it's a good replica from the TV show. But this thing actually, I can do these crazy barrel rolls and not really feel too affected by them. And I'm gonna crash. All right, wow. Oh boy, I have no idea what I just got myself into. So thank you so much, Pominalis, for sending your creations to me. I had so much fun with them, and I hope you guys do too. Check out the Steam Workshop links, and we're gonna move on now to a couple wacky creations. These were sent to me by Benthier135. I've got a four-seater table car. This thing, I'm excited to drive this. So let's read this before I make a fool of myself. So we got a four-seater table car, one turns left, two turns the engines on, and three turns right. Uh, so it's like a number pad driving. So let's spawn this thing and see what we got here. I wonder which seat has the connections. All right, it's the one right in front of me here, actually. How convenient. So one, two, and three. So let's turn the engines on. 
And I'm thinking, is that suspension glitch steering? Yes, it is. All right. So it's not fast, but you know what? I think that you could definitely have a picnic on the run with this thing. And I think it's a hilarious build, actually. I mean, imagine like a multiplayer server on Scrap Mechanic and some guy just joins the world and then starts driving around on a table. I mean, I just wouldn't be able to help but laugh at it. It's too, it's too novel. I can't believe it. So that is really neat, actually. I mean, using the small pipe pieces as wheels and stuff, same as the, uh, the Blade Runner there, that was really cool as well. So I'm gonna get rid of that, and I'm gonna spawn the other creation that I checked out from Benthir. Uh, he's got a whole workshop as well. Link in the description for sure. You guys gotta check them all out. So this is a helicopter car. And let's just say I've made some helicopters, so I, I had to check this one out. This has an interesting... Okay, wait, whoa. Hmm. I don't know what just happened. What was that? Okay, loads of seats here. Three seats. Where's the uh, connections at? Right in the center. Lots of buttons. Oh, okay, let's just dive right into this. Okay, so we have eight buttons. I'm going to press them in sequence to see what happens here. So one is hovering up and down. Oh, that's cool. Two is car mode. Here we go. Okay, so we got the car mode. Drives really well. Really, really well. And then you can easily get out of car mode like that. Okay, so let's stay in car, car mode here while we press some more buttons. So, 4, 5, and 6 are all different controls. Okay, you can see the 3 and 4 are for rolling, probably, and 5 and 6 are the tail. 7 opens up that. And 9 star. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I love this. I have never seen anything like this before. Let's tr let's start flying around here. Wait, I can do this. I fly things in Scrap Mechanic. I'm not sure how to steer this in the air! Okay, hold on here. Let me get back on the wheels here. Maybe, was I supposed to bring those wheels in? I'm gonna bring those wheels back in, and I'm gonna try this again, so... I don't think it has any uh, suspension glitches in it. Now, it tilts back, so let me turn those blades off. Oh, wow, did you see that? Watch this. You can actually see the uh, built-up energy, like, increase itself when you shut these, I think. Let's see that again. So they're spinning. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. Did you see how it speeds up right there? I mean, the game is calculating quite a bit of physics, so let's stop spinning that, though. I really want to see how this flies. Okay. It's a little unstable in the air. Uh, I, I wish I could fly this a little bit better, but nonetheless, this creation is really neat. The way it can transform from a car mode to a funny looking helicopter with the really neat paint job. And I think the blades need to be in a specific spot. Maybe right there, is that where? Ah, there we go. So you actually have to manually put those away, which is actually kind of like a nice little touch on the build, I find. It, it makes you feel like you're in more control. And flying it without the blades out... ...is not the easiest thing as well. Okay, these are reverse. That's... Okay. I know why I had a hard time now, I think. They were... Those buttons were reversed, actually. Uh, I did not realize that. It's kind of counterintuitive to me, but... Nonetheless, look, I can fly it now! Which is, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good for me. I was having a hard time with it at first, and now I'm about to lose it. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Deploy the blades! <laughs> oh, no. And I have flipped the car. Oh, uh, well. I mean, you can't win them all, can you? Thank you so much, Benthir, for sending me your creations. Uh, if you want to see more of your creations, then all you have to do is send me yours. And if you check the description, you'll see the email, and I'll put it on the screen here. It's moonbowsm at gmail.com. You guys can send your Steam Workshop links over to me. I'll check them out, and you might see them featured in the next episode. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I'll see you guys in the next one.